Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. I'm Nye. I'm Mako, and uh, we still got resources. Yeah, um, I've been told that until I actually play with, uh, what was it, I think it was the Solar Bombardment. Oh no, sorry, the Solar Lance, I'm not allowed to say anything. <laughs> okay. I think, it was, I think it was Solar Lance they were talking about. Um, I might have to go look. But I just really dislike that power. I just hate to say it, like, I, I don't like this ent this entire line. It mm. just doesn't feel good. It does seem a little, uh, limited. It, I just, given the stuff that the Spear of a Dune can do, um, it's damaging stuff feels less useful than the other things it can do. You know? So it's just kind of kind of an annoying thing. And I think that if, if we're going to be talking weapons, I think the Purifier Beam is just a better version overall. So, um, just popped in here so we could say that. Um, we got some stuff to talk about in the War Council, apparently. Vorazun wants to talk to us. I cannot begin to understand the depth of your sorrow, Artemis. Such noble Templar, now made a monstrosity. Monstrosity happens all the time. We're going to have to go fix that eventually. But what pains me is the uncertainty of facing them. They are my brothers. We are going to have to go kill Protoss. This isn't the first time we've done Protoss versus Protoss's campaign, but it might be the first time it gets a, to be, like, the big deal. It's been the first time we've been this bad, plus the fact that, you know... I can offer you little comfort or sure, my friend. Yeah. It's... It's going to be a thing. By the way, did you see that uh, Alarak is going to be the new co-op campaign commander? I saw that, yeah. We haven't done any co-op stuff. No, we haven't. Might happen. Yet, but might happen. Oh, you did not. <laughs> Game? Don't tell me that. Don't let me do this. That's just mean. I'll actually use this. <laughs> So, okay, it, the question is, is it the same as it used to be? So the Arbiter is a StarCraft One unit. One of the major abilities, as you can kind of see in the video in the upper right, is that any, any, or any allied units in the vicinity of the Arbiter get permanent cloaking as long as the Arbiter is alive. Um, this is really, really useful, but it means that the Arbiter is just going to get shot. Is what's going to end up happening most of the time. But if your units have a good enough mix, you can guarantee that they're going to be getting a lot of work done. Second, the Arbiter has the ability Stasis Field, which I just used in the uh, video. Uh, it makes enemy units impossible to kill, but it also makes it so they don't do anything for a while, which allows you to move on very, very quickly, um, and you can have your units do whatever they like. Uh, it also has the ability to do what's called Mass Recall. Um, now, I don't know if the uh, StarCraft II version has a limit on its range, but Mass Recall in StarCraft One could be cast from any point on the map to any point on the map, and instantly teleports all friendly units nearby. So, let's say you send an Arbiter into an enemy base, and then teleport in, let's say, 12 carriers, and there's nothing the enemy can do about it if the Arbiter gets in range. Um, it can be very, very scary. So, uh, I think we're going to go with the Arbiter, because honestly... Um, Given the strategies that I like to use, I think that having the Arbiter is going to be more fun than having, say, a Void Ray or a Destroyer. The Destroyer's off... Well, you forgot the Mothership, so... Yeah, we also have the Mothership. Um, oh, sorry. Well, Void Ray or Destroyer, the other two uh, Assault Ships. So the, the Destroyer is the one that we were using, the one that has the uh, branching beam. But considering I don't use air attacks very often, I think Arbiter's where we're going to go with that. Back to the bridge. Okay, Alarak's got nothing to say. Let's see what our next mission's gonna be. Now that the Psy Matrix has fallen, so it's time to attack Amon. Hmm. Okay. Find him and kill his body. Pretty much. Well, it's not gonna. Yeah, him. it's not gonna be kill him. It's gonna be kill his body. Um. Okay. So we need to complete the mission. Destroy Void Shard with the assistance of your allied Protoss forces. So I can't... This is actually another time limit, but it's a slower time limit. I have to wait to do what I want to do until my allies are there. And then destroy two Void Shards within 150 seconds of each other, as usual. Okay, well, we've seen uh, we've seen achievements like that, so we can do that. Let's launch. Oh, 
Um, okay, this is not the usual launch screen. Okay, then. We have instantly transitioned into a cutscene. This is different. Okay, and Amon has something to say. Oh, dear. Alrighty, so that's Amon. Hi, Amon. He doesn't look finished. I don't know, he says he is. Hmm. You'd think he wouldn't be able to do this because he doesn't normally have that ability. Also, where did he go just now? He just kind of vanished. You are wrong. We are finally free to become something more, and you will And Artanis is pissed. Brace yourself for the full might of the first That's born. Pretty good, I guess. Very pissed. No, it's really good. It means that we might not die. Not dying good. Now loading screen? Now loading screen. Okay. That was that was a pretty nice fake out though. That was really well done. I mean, I, I kind of saw it happening immediately when it started, and I was just kind of like, new loading screen? And then all of a sudden. Also, I like this tip. Your yeah. army will obey your every command until their death. It is important to keep a close eye on them to ensure they do not die in vain. I think actually one of my favorite uh, sort of fake-outs comes from a Destiny mission. Oh? You get to the end, and it says, basically, go here and get this crystal for me. You go there, you get this crystal, you kill the boss, or you you, you defeat the boss, you don't kill him. Um, and it gives you, you know, the mission complete. And normally from there, it says, you know, 30 seconds to return to or orbit. Only suddenly, mission complete uh, glitches, fades out, and the big bad pops in and tells you just how screwed you are. Um... Okay, so he's part overmind? That's frightening. Yeah. Okay, so blow up those things. Except those are Zerg around those things. Oh, okay, this is one of those. Alrighty. This is not good. <coughs> Alrighty. So lots of things are happening very, very quickly. Let's see if I can move just as quickly. Uh, is he allowed to do that? Apparently. So. Okay, so I got one entrance there, got one entrance there. Okay. We will totally fight well. Fighting well is what we do. Alrighty. Um, so, how do we want to do this? So, number one, uh, we haven't played StarCraft in uh, almost two weeks. two weeks now. Yeah, so I'm going to be a little bit rusty as we get into the final missions of the game. Um, so, we're going to see what happens. Uh, while I'm doing this, Mako, did you see that they're going to be doing a lot of changes to the StarCraft multiplayer? I have not over much, but that's just because I don't always play a lot of StarCraft. I know they were going to make some changes, but... Yeah, I don't pl I don't actually play a lot of StarCraft multiplayer, uh, to be honest with you. Um, it's been a while since i played, actually. But I was looking, and they have a lot of changes they're doing to a lot of different units, uh, trying to, you know, I guess inject a little bit more life into the StarCraft multiplayer is the impression that I got. And uh, it's kind of interesting to read just uh, how a lot of these, uh, a lot of things are changing. A lot of, um, a lot of uh, the, um, you know, buildings are going to be different. Can we, can you not? Can you just not? Oh, they're going to be troublesome already, are they? Oh, yeah. They, they're already, like, sending units at me, which is fine. Anyway, you were saying? Oh, just nothing special. It's I'm I'm not big enough into the uh, StarCraft scene to really understand a lot of the stuff that they're doing, but um, 
but there's just I... oop, not that that but yeah it's just one of those like i'm not big into the star starcraft scene to really understand a lot of these changes but um lots of people I... are very kind of very commenting you know they huh. you know people are feeling very strongly about some of these things and some of the changes are i mean as a as a casual player keep in mind these changes will never hit uh they, 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 these the changes they make um, to multiplayer they never hit single player. So I so as Unless far as I understand, specifically stated. Mind yeah. You, like so from what I understand, I am basically playing like patch 1.0 is what I'm on. So a lot of the stuff that I do uh, in uh, in these uh, episodes you can't do. Um, there's stuff that single player doesn't get to do. There's stuff that we do that you can't do normally. Right. Um, Camp campaign has its own rules. Yeah. Now that doesn't mean that campaign hasn't had a few tweaks over the years, but but those are mostly just like, oh, hey, this is really, really broken. We shouldn't be able to do this more than anything. And um, I think the uh, you know they were talking a lot of things like, um, for example, apparently, um, in order to stop a fairly degenerate tactic. Um, you are no longer allowed to, um, you are no longer allowed or able to, uh, medevac, uh, tanks. Siege tanks. Hmm. Because they didn't want you to be able to get siege tanks out in a rapid period of time. But, kind of on a, uh, a similar note, um... Siege tanks got a pretty hefty damage buff, so they're doing they're doing some stuff like that, which is interesting. Um, the uh, the Tempest, remember that really the the uh, the Protoss siege unit mm -hmm. that I was always kind of like, okay, that thing seems really really good. Um, the another thing that they're doing is uh, they are looking at extremely lowering, um the Tempest's uh, air-to-ground range. Uh, hmm. which So it'll have to get really up close and personal to do a ground range, but it also just gained a um, an attack similar to... Uh, what's the word? Uh, what's the... Uh, a psionic Storm. So... Just some interesting stuff. Okay, so we're going to send our units in. We'll also send in Phoenix. And we're going to get this first trigger knocked out, because I'm pretty sure this is a trigger more than anything, is destroy this thing. Now, this is one of those things where I'm just taking damage standing in this, standing in this zone. It's just a constant damage thing for me. So we want to get rid of this as soon as possible, so that way that damage zone goes away before I lose too many units. Okay, it's gone. There are some units, and then we'll go. There's a checkpoint. No, warriors will not press forward. In fact, warriors are going to fall back as fast as they possibly can because there's something coming. Okay. Basic defense is done. Let's uh get some more defenses done for whatever the hell this thing is that's on its way. Ah, uh, majestic VoIP uh, statue. Pretty much. Okay, that's a that's an army. That is an army of Terran things. Well, yeah, this thing's been calling in. Um, they've sent uh, some Zerg, some Protoss, and some Terran at me. Mm. Yeah, they're sending they're sending a couple things at me. Hi, you. Build me a nexus right there. And then a, a Vespine Geyser. Or, well, it's a simulator is the word we're going for. Uh, you guys go attack that. I just don't feel like dealing with that. Okay, so where are my allies is what I would like to know. Okay, you. Build me gateway, 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 gateway. Uh, yes, you were promised allies. 
Yeah, I was promised allies. I want to know where these allies are. Because all I'm seeing is bad guys. Can you, can you stop it with this raven? See, this is how you play with a good raven. I don't play with... I don't, I don't use ravens. I don't really like them that much, to be honest with you. We're just going to do one of those, mostly to get some extra units. But also, I want to have another pylon. Wow, they are just... The amount of, like, upset at me, these guys seem to be. <laughs> well, you are getting awful near the end of the game, and you've killed a lot of his things, so... I mean, I have, and that's a fair statement. That, I mean, that, that's fair. Um, I'm going to kill more of his guys, though. <laughs> so, on the subject of broken things, I recently picked up a game on PSN. They, you know, they do the PS2 on PS4 stuff. I mean, I've heard as such. I haven't done anything with them. Well, they just recently put a. a as we record this, at least they're doing a. Uh, they're doing a thing where you can get a couple of the P my favorite PS2 on PS4 uh, games, and one of them is Wild Arms 3. Okay, I've heard good things, and I've played 10 minutes of. Um, it has some abilities that are designed explicitly around breaking the game's regular rules. And this is... I, I love games that let you do that, do that, and at the same time, I can't... like. It's one of those things, I, I love it and I hate it because you know it's going to get used against you, but I love it because when it's done properly, it's... Oh, hello. Something just happened. Ah, here we go. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, they've got some infested stuff over here. Yeesh. Oh, hey, Phoenix. Go have fun. Yeah, but it's one of those things where, you know, like, it gives you the tool, it shows you the way the game works, and then it gives you the tools to completely break it open. That's about right. <clears throat> For example, uh, a, lot of, a lot of the game is built around, like, the bosses aren't just straight kill the enemy kind of things. A lot of them revolve around learning the rules of how the boss, uh, the rules of, like, what the boss is doing and what your characters can do. Okay. Um... For for example, there are enemies that will get bosses or enemies that will get super dodgy, like you know, one hundred percent evasion rate. There is an ability that one of your main, each of your main characters has an ability that breaks the game and violates one of the standard rules. Sounds about right. Uh, for example, one of them has lock on. When you use this ability, the attack that you use it with, and it's always, it has to be a standard attack, unfortunately. Um, will always hit. It is a 100% hit rate that cannot be ignored. I like that ability. What's more, it also doubles the damage of the standard attack. I also like that. There is a character, for example, who has the ability Accelerator. He's fast normally, but when you use Accelerator, this character will go first that turn. Hmm. No questions. He will always go first. Oh, hey, look. They're bringing in Thors. <laughs> they were bringing in Thors. Dun, 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 dun. Now, okay. Gets... Now, I promise I'm not going to do the thing that I... I'm not going to use the exact same strategy I used in previous episodes. I'm going to be using a slightly different degenerate strategy. I promise this. <laughs> I am, I, I promise this, I am not just going to use only Dark Archons. There will be additional units involved. Also, hey, look, here's some friends. Okay, I want you guys to be back here. Oh no, they're attacking with me with multiple flying enemies. Okay, you guys can go kind of attack Something into this with our friends. Vaguely wrong Actually, about that perimeter of creep. This one? Yeah. The fact that it's uh, concave and not convex? I was going to say, it looks kind of like it's stitched. It's bad cross stitch. Oh, okay, that's not the answer I, ha I had then. 
Uh, the basic answer I have to your statement is that it's concave, not convex. It should be pushing out, not puckered in. Mm. Okay, let's go with our friends and uh, break this and get an achievement. Um, let's go with you guys. Wait, what? That makes sense. That's a thing that the game does on a fairly regular basis. Now, what I want to know is what these guys are doing, because they just slowed down. Now, please tell me, please tell me there's a, um... Nah, these are not what I want them to be. I was really hoping he was going to be sending, like, battlecruisers at me. And he didn't. We need a fleet beacon. I need something called a fleet beacon. Can you make a fleet beacon for me? Uh-oh. Oh no, my guys died. Oh no. Well, that was Oh no. Anticlimactic. Also, thank you to the uh awesome viewer who uh let me know about a hotkey that I was not using. Specifically press W to activate all gateways. I was actually not using that hotkey, and that was really silly of me to not use that hotkey. Okay, I didn't know about that one. I wish I knew about that one. Now I know about that one. Yeah. Well, because it was previous to this, I was always, um... I was always, like, making a uh, hotkey group of, um... Of all gateways, and there's no point doing that. Are you guys actively... You're building up, right? Like, I didn't completely screw that up by failing. Are these mine? No, those are yours. Okay. <laughs> We're not talking about that. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to... Yeah, yeah, right. Do that. We're not talking about that either. We're not... I'm not going to... not going to talk about that. We're going to pretend that I didn't do that. Are you, how are you guys doing? You guys building up some energy? Yes, yes, good, good, great. Super! Okay, our friends are getting ready to attack again. And when they do... Here we go. Okay. Okay, so we have to work... Oh! Oh, you won't let me do that, will you? Oh, you douchebag. What is it he's doing? Oh, you dick. Um, no, it has nothing to do with what he's doing. It's the game just shut down the, um, the technique I've been using. You cannot mind control any of Amon's units. So oh. I'm actually not allowed to use the, to use the, uh, thing I've been doing. Okay, well then you can fall back then. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna come up with a different plan. Because what my previous strategy has been, for those who, you know, have not been watching, was to send in just crap tons of Dark Archons and then steal all of my opponent's units and then use them against him. But, um... Yeah, the, game is, the game has gotten wise to you. Yeah, the game last. has decided that we are not going to be doing that. I don't know, you've been mind-controlling things since the, first, since the uh, Terran campaign. It only goes to the reason that they would have learned by now. Yeah, they, they've, they've thought about this. Yeah, we are not allowed to mind control any of uh, any of these units at all, which is um, kind of sucky because I actually did put some. Uh, I did put some stuff into that. Like I did put some. Um, what's what I'm looking for? Resources into those dark archons, but that's fine. I have better abilities. You were relying a little heavily on that concept. Well, what I was going to do is I was just going to warp in a shit ton of them. But, if the game's not going to allow me to do it, the game's not going to allow me to do it. And I have other ways to do silly things. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on some of those. And now for something completely different. Yep. So Mako, how do you feel about an invisible mothership? horrified because we now have an invisible mothership and it's just gonna kind of hang out here for a little bit 
Uh, okay, you did your thing. Go away. Okay, so I've got to change strategies a little bit, and that's fine. I don't get to use that particular broken strategy. I'm going to use a slightly different broken strategy. Phoenix is up. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to use him yet, because I want him to be part of my next attack. Okay. Because these, uh, the enemies that we're dealing with... Why are you just sitting here? Would you mind just attacking that like you're supposed to? Thank you. I said this dark archon just kind of sitting here doing nothing. Well, he's not going to last, unfortunately. Nope. Okay, you two go attack. I want to make sure that we nail this, uh, this achievement. <laughs> wow, you two move really slowly. Okay, never mind, apparently. We're not going to be attacking with them. You two can just hold right here. Wow, the Arbiter's are a lot bigger than it used to be. Hi, that's a black hole. You don't get to go anywhere. <laughs> I like that ability. We should use that ability more often. Okay, now why do I not get to build the thing that I want to build? Is that in robotics bay? I was going to say, it's a pre you, you, you're missing a prerequisite, clearly. Well, what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to build, I'm trying to build carriers, but I, they're not even an option. So they, Our... carriers must be robotics facility. Hmm. So let's make a robotics facility. Hmm. This, uh, this mission's going to take a little bit longer than I would have liked because of that. And now I have, like, five stargates with nothing to do. Six stargates with nothing to do. Armored, massive, mechanical, um... Built from stargate. Well, that's not fair. I have a stargate. Yeah, I'm trying to see... Oh, did I... Oh, I think... I, never mind. I think I... I chose mothership instead of carrier. That's what it is. That's why I can't do it. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I was gonna. I, I I wanted to say, are you sure you're allowed to, given your ship layout? But I didn't think you could have been that forgetful. I can be. Okay, Mako. In what way should I do stupid things? I got a couple options. Well, you know me. I'm always in favor of the flamboyant way. Okay. You know what I think we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. Even though we don't get the really broken version of this, I think we're going to go with Dark Ar uh, Dark Templar. Because they won't let me use Dark Archons. Dark Templar, strike with great fury. Okay, you two, attack. Yeah, about that. <laughs> I really like that ability. That is a fun ability. We're just going to put a black hole there and let all my friends attack. Are you still attacking? No. Because you're dead. This is what we're going to do. We're going to come up here. Gonna warp in reinforcements. And as soon as that drops... All of the Dark Templar, or Dark Ark, uh, yeah, Dark Templar that we've ever had, attack! You guys are double cloaked. Are my friends still alive? I really hope my friends are still alive. Yes, they are. So you may want to not may not want to exert too much effort on killing the stuff coming out of the holes. There you go. Okay, let's go attack in this direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, those are my friends, right? Yes, okay. Now, when you take this warp in zone, is that where the Vorzen's dudes are coming from? The well, Vorzen's dudes are coming from this one. So, <laughs> someone else is going to come from this next one. Ooh. Alarak, probably. Possibly. So my Dark Templar are doing stupid things, and who remembers the important things about my Dark Templar? Stop that. They uh, teleport when they die? Yep. So we're going to do something that I never thought I would try to do. We're going to Dark Templar swarm my opponents. Warp complete. Warp complete. Oh wait, Dark Templar are semi-stealth, aren't they? Uh, they're already perma-stealthed. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we gotta go and finish this. Could you stop it with this nonsense? Like, could 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 you just... You're not getting in that entrance. You know, the only benefit to these voids is the fact that they're voiding just about every type of enemy at us is that the void enemies don't have much health. They have a decent amount of health. They do, but it's, it was something they mentioned up front was, you know, the void type and the void type things don't seem to have as much help. Pure oh, fire. Phoenix. Pure fire's taking over this. Ooh. <laughs> I, I ain't complaining about that. Pure fire is nice. We like pure fire. Okay, um. What can I send with this group? Because we have to kill... So our next achievement that we have to get is to kill um, two enemy groups at the same time. Two, you have to destroy two of those yeah, crystals two of those things. Within, two in a minute, within two and a half yeah. minutes of each other. Let's uh, send five of those guys in here. And then I guess we'll go with Dragoons. Okay. You've got a ton of minerals. Well, I do have two bases. Soon to be three. Okay. Attack the Void Shard. I know it's my own fault, but I really am annoyed by the fact that I don't have carriers. Also... I gotta admit, Phoenix, your army is not impressing me. So let's call you in. I was gonna say, where is Phoenix? Um, down here, rampaging. Uh, in the game of world, where is Waldo? Only Waldo is always uh, equipped with phase, with phase cannons and plasma swords. Here's the thing. You know, that would have made Where's Waldo a lot cooler. We want to open this up, but we don't yet want to break this if we can help it, but we can't help it. Okay. So we'll do it. <sighs> okay. Next one. Okay, make your way to the next one. Okay, let's uh, do that, which will auto-strike, and then we'll do this, because we need to hurry. I love that auto- I love that auto-tracking cannon. That auto-tracking cannon's so good. Okay, uh, we'll hit you again. Great, I'm glad to see the Narrow Gamer joining the fight. Can you guys join the fight, like, faster, maybe? Bleeding void energy. Okay, oh, hello, that is a thing that's going on. Okay, Wait, you guys what? are annoying me. Stop that. 
<laughs> Did you just stasis like every enemy there? Yep. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. That's... Kill that. Kill it. Thank you. Okay, and now oh, go attack that. Did you see? Did I get the achievement? Did you see it? I don't see. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, sorry, you missed like 30 seconds. I forgot the button that opens up the menu is also my button to pause the recording. Um, you guys didn't miss anything. We were checking to make sure the achievements were there. We did indeed get both achievements. Uh, Mako was curious what this icon was down here. It's the icon for the mothership. And uh, we got Alarak in. So Alarak has joined the fight. Insert Smash Brothers thing here. I yep. don't know why. Oh, hey, look, there's people over here. We're going to completely ignore them and just straight up attack. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, let's call in some more Dark Templar because reasons. Holy crap, look at this. Wow. This place is a mess. And it's not gonna matter. Oh hey, they killed my uh oh that's not nice. Here. You guys don't do that. And you guys don't do that. And everybody attack the attack the shard. Everybody get in here. No, seriously, look. Oh, that's stupid. And boy shard's gone. We win. Okay, everybody just all out attack. No, it's done. Oh, yeah, that was our main objective. We don't know if there was another one. I mean, he's still right here. I'm still going to have to right. attack him, but... Nope, here we go. Oh, no. That's bad. Uh-oh, Super Saiyan Beam. Don't destroy my base! You know, I think it's time for a little orbital orbital bombardment. How yeah. about you? We're just gonna triple blast him with just all the stuff we have, apparently. And now for an evening of light music with orbital bombardment. Light music, throw bombardment. That is my new StarCraft indie band. Well, he died I in a damn really... Well hmm... That seemed too easy. Okay. Achievements across the board. Oh no, we lost 64 units. That sucks. We lost 17 units to void charts, which also sucks. Now, I don't think that was the last... I don't think that was the last mission, was it? No, not in this... But it's not yet, I think. Hmm. Oh, well, there's still one more to go. We will catch you guys next time as we... Retake Iyer, I guess. We'll see you soon.